Hey YouTube, SS Raptor here, and I am here to bring you more of my little modded Minecraft thing. I'm just setting up my quarry right now so I can just like getting some fun things in my little mining world of awesomeness. And hopefully my quarry won't just love me today. So I basically took apart most of my quarry there and I still haven't figured out what's up with what's up with my logistics system so I'm gonna probably figure out something probably something else to um, work with so that and I'm also gonna wanna put up some sort of chunk loading thing here there you go okay so we'll keep 25 chunks loaded that's actually, I think that keeps the entire thing loaded, so that's good. And I have my, I have three electrical engines, so I'm gonna have to put two of them like there. No, I forgot how I want this. I, I definitely want the chest. This is the output chest, so. I'm only gonna actually be using two of the, out of the three. Um, electrical engines that I have, so I'm thinking bat box, bat box, and then my two LV solar arrays go on top. And while the bat box is producing power, I'm gonna try to get two redstone torches going or three now and they're gonna start doing their thing in here and getting me whatever materials that are kind of necessary and I'm gonna have to deal with um, what to do with like the cobblestone and that stuff considering my logistics my entire logistics system is actually broken. I think it's because of a um, update with um, Buildcraft. They messed with the t they messed up. or no the logistics pipes update. I believe they actually messed with it, so that's gonna be f it's fun. So I think what I'm gonna do here is. Definitely figure out what face, but um, thing what my phone wants. I don't care. I know I have a missed call. Finally, she did. Um, okay, so I'm thinking what I'm gonna do here is it, it's gonna take a little while for this thing to actually start really going. And I am gonna actually replace that with an ender chest when I can get it. When I can get an ender chest, so. But. For sake of argument, say the other chest is is like here. We're gonna want to make it so that here all the cobblestone goes into like one area and all that stuff. So I think the best way to do so with like without using like comp a bunch of all this crazy logistics pipes is actually do what I was trying to do before with the detectors. So instead of, instead of using a tank detector, using the item loaders and unloaders. So that's just pressure plates and wood, so I can easily do that in no problem. And you might be wondering why am I doing that? Because everything else is broken. So that is my like only option. Like I can't even sort this wood that's coming out. I'm gonna have to actually disable all of those engines over there. Which I am not looking forward to. So um, I also need to get the cobblestone from here, so that's condensed gravel. I want condensed cobble. Say, do about 
that much. And I am gonna go underneath this all and actually disable all of my lovers. <laughs> This is just gonna kind of disable the trio process, and I actually lost the engine here. That's weird. Yeah, I'll also get stuff in, and there's where my pork chops went. And other stuff. Oh well. The main problem here is dealing with um all of the wonderful stuff. So. I'm gonna put those in there and put that in there so I can just deal with it. And then all these, like, all this tin. I'm gonna put in here with not the tin stuff, but oh well. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> They're all stuff that can go in something. Alright, so with this, I'm gonna grab some iron ingots, so. Probably some gold from here, too. And we're good there, so we. A uh, good thing to do with um, the wood is. Make it so it's like that, but no. It's. Find the way it is, but I'm just improving these chests so I can have something at the end of the line where I'm like, okay, this is where all the cobblestone goes, this is where all the gravel goes, this is where all that, this, this, and this go. So let's grab about. That's way more than enough, but oh well. I think I do want to. Probably load up, yeah. I think I do want this. I'm just debating how I want it to work. Because I say I have the item loader and unloader, it loads it into the tank, the tank, or the cart. We have to make a good amount of these unloaders, so say loader, gra um, dirt, gravel, Cobble. Other. Alright, I need a lot more of that. A lot more wood for this. So, let's go here. Grab the wood. As long as I can make about eight chests. Or four chests, I'm good. Alright, so those are all set, and then the loader and unloader, it's all about how they're placed with the dispenser, and to make a dispenser, you need a lot of string. Which was also another problem I was having before with that, is I would always have a lackage of string, so hopefully this thing, my lackage string is um, going to be remedied. fairly early on in this build, but it doesn't look like it. It looks like I can only make two dispensers right now when I need five. So right now it's going to be, it's a cobblestone I think, yeah. So goodbye smooth stone, hello. Super condensed cobblestone. Goodbye. Um, so, and then after that, it's um, dispenser. Okay, you just piece of redstone. Come here. Give me my um, stuff. So. Um, 
Um, what can I? Oh yeah, the bow. In each of these, one is a loader, one is going to be an unloader. So I should probably just clean up my inventory right now before I fuse myself. Because I don't need some of the stuff like that I don't really need. Okay. So dispensers and item detector items. So one way gives me the loader. The the way it gives me the unloader. So that's how you get both of the systems and then that stuff's just gonna cook up. And I believe I should have some tracks or at least the start of tracks so usage of the rail, I get some wooden rail beds and I just make the tracks and I can make some holding tracks or yeah, holding tracks right now would be good. So advanced rails. Okay. Do that. Um, what was it again? It was advanced rail, centered redstone, and that. Okay. Should start being powered if my system still works correctly. <laughs> Do you want to work? No, I don't want to place you. Come on, power, <laughs> please. I want like a lover and hello, Mr. Skelly. Love how you can't hit me right there. All right, so I guess I can just go lever. Here, I mean, again, this entire thing is like kind of buggy. And how it works, so. So some advanced rails, and then for the holding trail, there's detector, redstone, and wood rail bed, and how to make the wooden rail bed, wooden ties. Oh, uh, wonderful, creosote oil. And that, so that's how you make the wooden things, is with the creosote oil. Um, all right, so if I take, say, nine of these, and say go, do, 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 do. I need a lot of this, so. All right, so nine of those. Let's grab some tin. My bees are obviously not done enough. So how am I gonna get up there? There we go. About 10 can things of creosote oil here, so, because I only have enough for about. Okay, let's make, let's probably put about the rest of those in there. This is probably what, ooh, what do I get when I do this? A wooden post, that's cool. But, no. 
think what I want here is if I take this, surrounded by some of these standard rails, I will get 60 normal tracks. I put this here. Well, I first need my little wonderful item detector thingamablobber. So that requires my smooth stone, which is in here somewhere. Smooth stone! Here we go. Okay, come on, smooth stone. And then holding smooth stone. Uh, I'm grabbing a piece of redstone. Rail thingy and pressure, pressure plate, pressure plate, pressure plate. Advanced rails over here. And I get eight holding tracks. So I think I can make actually one more if I really need to, but that's fine for now in the mines. So. Yeah, as you can see, I am getting dirt from here. And it is gonna eventually, thinking, load, right? Oh no, that's the cart unloader. Come on. I'm assuming a pickaxe. Okay, that is definitely not what I wanted. Alright, that was what the unloader. That is definitely not it, so. Just gonna. <laughs> that never happened. Alright, so the loader has to go in through the top of. Alright, so say I put this here. So say I put a piece of dirt here. Item loader there, okay. Holding track there. And then normal track going up, up, up to the automatic thingamabop bloober. So you actually need to go up one. So let's go holding track this and I'll just go one more just for safe measure to make sure it actually works it's gonna go the cart's gonna go under hold until it gets all the stuff so And then it's gonna just keep on going on its way. It's gonna unload at certain stations. So, like here's gonna be, say, cobblestone unload station. Put a holding track. You're gonna filter out cobblestone. Keep the, or say this one filters out dirt. Okay, for a second. So it's going to filter out dirt. It's going to place the dirt into an adjacent chest, which I'm going to make right now. Or an adjacent inventory, okay? So, it sh hopefully should. So, the adjacent inventory is going to be this chest. The chest is going to be pulled out by a wooden transport pipe, probably to the top. I can still make here, so let's make one transport pipe. I believe I can. No, I can't. But it'll be one transport pipe, then a series of crafting tables all the way down until it gets to the extremely condensed dirt. And I am right now in the dark. It's gonna be like that for the entire thing, and then 
the actual cart's going to double back around and go into back into the cart into the loader where it should theoretically be loaded now I do want to just test to see if it'll actually load an item such as like if through the adjacent inventory if the inventory has to be like placed on it in some fashion and let's make two Eight pieces of bronze, yes. Making my little minecart. Minecart with a chest. Did I make the chest or not? Yes, I did. Chest cart. Alright, so under here, if I say put, put minecart, push it on. Alright, and then it's gonna just let it keep on going on. It's. Merry way, I'm assuming. Okay, so that's good. It's gonna just continue on its merry way. Let me just turn off clouds because I hate getting stuck in them. Um, other? No. I'm using the faithful 32. Try other ones. Not as good. Um. Off. Perfect. Alright, so you are f pretty full. Okay, so that's designed to... How about if I send you back? Come on, go back. Like, for sake of argument, this was a system of... Rails don't know why it would be, but... Um, hello there. Hmm. All right, that's interesting. And I'm still like, I don't really use Railcraft too much. But I think what... Alright, so it looks like it's emptying its entire thing into there until it is full. And this one's going to slowly get dirt and whatnot until it's full. This guy's going to get piped out into a series of crafting tables and then stay in the final form, hopefully, for a while. So this is uh, pretty good here. I mean, all right, we got that until the cart's empty. It gets filled up, I'm assuming. Maybe I just want the T and check the weight. Just push. Mm. And so it looks like it's just waiting until the cart here is full. Then it's going to go on its little merry way of traveling around. Now I am going to probably just filter, you know, it's only going to do dirt because dirt is amazing. Alright, it doesn't really matter, but you're going to just fill up with your dirt. Dirt's going to get all sent down through whatever system it is and then it's going to come back. And I like it. So I'll be right back once I make this um, that system a reality. Alright, I am back and just showing you guys how the system worked. I have it set up so that um, the item loader here will take the items out of here. But it will only take out 
dirt and it'll actually try and it won't send a cart on the way until it has nine full stacks of dirt in here. So until it gets nine full stacks, it's not gonna anywhere. But just to um, demonstrate, let me grab some dirt and let's load up. Let's grab some dirt. And then from there, it'll actually come over here, deposit all the items. This will automatically shove into this chest here. This chest here, when able to, will be, if it, once it has enough items in it, it'll actually be, the automatic crafting table will use this chest as an, as the items that it is using as like a buffer. And then it's gonna pull out as many as it can. And having that thing wait till it has like nine full stacks of dirt is, is still an outrageous, so it works. And I don't have food on me. Then this one here, just gonna try getting the condensed dirt. This one here, super condensed dirt. And then this guy out here keeps extreme condensed dirt. So, let's see how many inventory. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight? Okay, we're close. We're pretty close now. I can actually grab my extreme condensed dirt and condense it down manually, of course, because who would want to do this normally? Yeah, good, per good idea. No. So, in here I'm just going to stick another stack in there. So this chest should probably leave anytime soon. All right. There we go. Okay, so it just got the entire nine stacks. And here it's gonna actually just deposit all nine stacks in here, and it's gonna just send them all along the merry way. So as this is depositing the items, this is pulling out the items that I can, and then from there it's going to be processing them. And I'm just going to be filling up the dirt. <laughs> With more stacks of dirt. Just so I can have this thing go right through the system and then out will come the final product of hyper condensed dirt and this system here is actually completely easy for me to like copy more times for like gravel and that I just need the resources mostly the string to be able to make it but I believe that's going to be about it for this episode. This has been SS Raptor Gaming, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.